Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and we're here for Game 5 of the Giants versus the Reds. The 1987 Giants, that is, versus the 1990 Reds. If you've been following the series, you know that this series is currently tied at two games apiece, and this is the fifth and deciding game going back to Cincinnati. The winner here will advance to the NL Championship Series of the Round Robin Tournament and play the 1986 Mets. So, I'm not going to waste any more time talking about it. We want to get it underway and get going with this. The pitchers today for the decisive game for the San Francisco Giants will be Rick Rushell and for the uh, 1990 Reds, it will be Jose Rio. So Jose Uribe will lead off against Rio. He gets a 1-9, and that's a double one or a single. And right off the bat, the uh, literally, the San Francisco Giants get their first hit of the game. Off Rio, a man on, no outs, Will Clark up. He gets a 5-3. That's a walk. Rio already in trouble. They haven't even gotten out of the gates yet. Mitchell. Mitchell is up. He gets a 2-7. That's a strikeout. Mitchell, of course, the big star last game. He had two home runs in game four, which were integral in propelling San Francisco to the victory. And Jeffrey Leonard is up. He gets a 5-6. That's a double 1-10. to 10. That's going to score a run. And it's a single double asterisk. And it does uh, score, does indeed score a run. And uh, they have, San Francisco has the first run of the game. They draw first blood. And Mike Aldrete is up. And he gets a 1-8. And that's a single 1-2. to two. And where, yeah, there it is. And that is actually going to be a line out to the second baseman. That's two down. Runner still at the corners. And Chili Davis up. And they, he gets a 5-5. Five, five. That's a triple one or a single level asterisk. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a triple, a two-run triple that knocks in two more runs for the Giants and they have a big three nothing lead right here and this is a big at bat right here for Robbie Thompson he gets a two six but he strikes out so the Giants score three very huge runs in the uh, first top of the first inning and now we're in the bottom of the first with Billy Duran up facing Rick Russell he gets a three five that's a fly ball to right one away. Barry Larkin gets a 1-3. That's a ground ball to second. There's two down. And Hal Morris gets a 6-4. That's a fly to center field. The center fielder is a 2. That's a 9. That's going to probably be a double. I believe it is a double, yes. So Cincinnati gets their first hit. They have a man at second. And Ron Oster up. And he gets a 6-4. That's a fly to center. He's a 2. That is a 17, however, and that will be an out. And so the Reds fail to score in the first. We go to the top of the second. San Francisco leading 3-0. Bob Brenly is up. He gets a 4-9. That is a strikeout. Eddie Milner gets a 4-8. That is a strikeout. Two down. And Jose Uribe gets a 3-8, which is a pop to first base. Pop out. And so San Francisco goes down rather quickly there, as opposed to the first inning where they scored three runs. Eric Davis is up. 4-9 is a pop to first base. Pop out to Will Clark. Glenn Braggs gets a 6-11. That is a fly to right. The right fielder is um, 
the right fielder is a two. So let's roll the dice on that. And that's a 15. That's going to be something. That is a single and an error. So batter on second. That's a hit for Cincinnati. First error for San Francisco. And Billy Hatcher's out. And that's a 5-7, which is a single, and moves the runner over at least a third. We'll see if they decide to send the runner. 1-14, to 14, they're going to decide against doing that. And Herm Winningham is up. He gets a 6-10. And that's a fly ball. Center field B. It knocks in the run. Two away. They're probably glad they didn't do that because the run ended up scoring anyway. And that brings up Al Oliver. And he gets a 6-4, which is a fly to center. He's a 2. That is a 13. And he's out. So we go to the top of the third and the score is uh three nothing or three to one san francisco not as commanding a lead as it once was but will clark steps in and he gets a one five that's a strikeout rio is now struck out four straight men i believe kevin uh mitchell gets a six six as a single one to nine and that is going to be a line out to third base, two down. And Jeffrey Leonard is up, and he gets the 3-5, which is a single. So he rips the uh, Giants' fourth hit of the game. Aldrete comes up. He gets a 3-9. That's a double one or a single double asterisk. And it will be a single double asterisk. And now runners are at the corners with two down. Albeit, and Chili Davis up, and he gets a 5-5, five, five, and that's a triple one single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk, and another run comes in. And now San Francisco leads 4-1, and Robbie Thompson up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a home run 1-13. And that is out of here. And the Giants now have a commanding lead. This is crazy. We have not seen the Giants score like this uh, in really any game that um, has been played so far in this series. And Bob Brenly is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout, and mercifully ends the inning. But there were seven. There's now uh, four big runs in the third, which makes it seven to one. San Francisco and Bill Duran up. He gets a 1-6. That's a single. Fourth hit for the Reds. Barry Larkin's up. He gets a 4-5. That is a pop-out to second base. One away. Hal Morris gets a 2-2. That's a pop-out to second base. Two away. And Ron Oster gets a 5-8, and that is a strikeout. So, you know, Russell's got a pretty easy chore here. It's just, you know, don't walk anybody, basically. Don't give the Reds anything that they don't earn. Eddie Milner is up. He gets a 5-10, which is a catcher card. The catcher is, of course, Joe Oliver. He is a 3 that is an 11, and that's a foul out, one away. Uribe gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Duran. He's a 3. That's a 12 and a 3 at second. And that is an out, two down. Will Clark gets a 6-9. That is a ground ball, second base, and he is out. So Rio has settled down a little bit, it looks like now, since the third, but it might be just a little too late. Let's see if the Reds can mount the comeback, though. Eric Davis is up. He gets a 4-6, which is a double 1-3 to three or a single. That is actually a single. And there's the, the hit. 
Fifth hit for the Reds. Glenn Braggs is up. He gets a 5-2. That's a catcher card. Catcher is Brenly. Let's just check his rating. I think he's a 4. He is indeed a 4. And that is a 1. That's going to be a strikeout, I think. Um, it is. Just a strikeout. One away. Billy Hatcher gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball, shortstop, double play, and the Reds are out of the inning. And we go to the top of the fifth. 7-1. Um, Giants. Mitchell is up. He gets a 4-8. That is a strikeout. One away. Jeffrey Leonard gets a 5-4, and that's a home run 1-3. Are you kidding me? You aren't. It's a double. It's a double. So they get the uh, they get the eighth hit for their for the team for the Giants. And Eldrete is up with one down and a man at second. He gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout, two away. And Chili Davis comes up. He gets a 4-10. That is a fly to right. But the Giants come away with nothing there, despite the fact they did get a man on second. Herm Winningham gets a 6-8. That is a fly to center, one away. Joe Oliver gets a 4-9. That is a pop-out to first, two away. And Billy Duran gets a 4-6. And that is a double one to three or a single. That is a single. Sixth hit for Cincinnati. And Larkin up. And he is a 6-5, which is a ground ball, second base C. Not looking good here for the Reds. We go to the top of the sixth, and there is going to be a pitching change. They are already, uh, Lou Pinella is already going to the bullpen because he knows how critical this game is. So he is going to go to one of the nasty boys, Randy Myers, a little earlier than you would normally see Randy Myers, but you got to see him right now because it's 7-1. to one. They have to stop any more runs from scoring. Rob Thompson is up. 3-5, that's a walk. That brings up Bob, Bob Brenly, and he gets a 5-6. That's a strikeout. One away. I think that might have been something on Rio's card. Eddie Milner gets a 4-10. That is a ground ball to the third baseman. That is now Oster playing for the injured um, Sabo. And he is a 4 at third base. And that's a 4. That's going to be huge. That's going to be bigness right there. Big badness for the Reds. Double 2. So now the uh, Reds have to play the infield in. They have no choice. There's only one down and runners at second and third. Jose Uribe up. That's a 6-6. Six, six. And that is a single one to three or a line out to second. And it is a line out. So it's two away. They'll play the infield back now. And Clark is up though. And he hits a home run three run homer. And that might have just been the death knell right there. Um, they um, And actually, I think they, there was another hit in there. So they just got three more. Not good if you're a Reds fan. It's 10-1. to 1. It looks like the 87 Giants are booking their trip to uh, New York. Kevin Mitchell's up. And it'll be interesting when they play them because Kevin Mitchell is on both teams, but we'll deal with that later. Right now it's a fly to center, one away. Jeffrey Leonard gets a 1-8. That's a pop out to third, two away. And Aldrete hits a 3-12, and that is a ground ball third base. So that's the end of the uh, inning, but... Uh, it's, uh, you know, not good news. Hal Morris is up. You got to figure Russell could actually have his arm fall off and probably win this game now. 6-12 is a ground ball to the pitcher, and he throws on to Will Clark at first for the out. 
Ron Oster's up. He gets a double one to four or a single. Trying to make up for that error, and he does. At least as much as he can, he hits a double. Seventh hit for the Reds. It's not like they're not getting hits. They are hitting Russell. They just aren't scoring on him. Eric Davis is up. He gets a 6-10. That is a fly ball to center two away. And that brings up Glenn Braggs. And he gets a 3-4, which is a ground to the shortstop. And no runs come in. We go to the top of the seventh. We are now in the last third of the game. And the Giants have a commanding 10-1 lead. Chili Davis comes up. He gets a 5-7. That is a strikeout two away. Myers in his second inning of pitching. Thompson gets a 1-8. That's a single. The 11th hit for the Giants. Brenly gets a 3-7, which is a single 1-2. to two. And it isn't. It is a line out to third. Two away. And Eddie Miller's up, and he gets a 1-3 ground ball shortstop. Two, and that is that puts everybody out for the inning. The Giants are down in the seventh, and we go to the top of or the bottom of the seventh with a score 10 to 1 Giants. Billy Hatcher is up. And that is a 4-9. Pop out to first, one away. Herm Winningham gets a 5-9. That is a strikeout. Two away. And Joe Oliver's up. He gets a 5-4. That is a home run. 1-2 or a fly ball. And that is a home run for Joe Oliver. He gets the Reds' eighth hit and their second run. But they're still down 10-2. Bill Duran up. He gets a 3-5. That's a fly to, to right field. So, they do get a run. We go to the top of the eighth. And we are going to have another nasty boy coming in now for the Reds. And that will be Rob Dibble. He'll come in to try his hand. I believe he was in the last game. Jose Uribe steps up. He gets a 6-9. That is a strikeout. One away. Will Clark gets a 4-7. That is a strikeout. Two away. Dibble smoking the first two guys. And Kevin Mitchell steps up. And he is also struck out by Dibble. Three straight strikeouts by Dibble. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And we will have a pitching change for the Giants. That'll be it for Russell. He goes seven. Seven very strong innings. Allows only two runs on eight hits. And they will bring in Atlee Hammaker to pitch and do some, some cleanup relief here. Um, Barry Larkin up. He gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Hal Morris gets a 2-9. That's a fly to center field. Two away. And that brings up Oster. 6-10 is a fly ball to center. No runs come in. We go to the top of the ninth. Dibble, uncharacteristically, will pitch his second inning. But, of course, this is a must win for the Reds. And they have to make up eight runs in only one inning. But they got to hold it to just that. Jeffrey Leonard is up. That's a 5-8. That's a strikeout. One away. There is no tomorrow for the Reds. Uh, Aldrete gets a 3-5. That's a triple 1-2 to two or a double. And that's going to be a double. The, uh, the Giants just really hitting like we have never seen them hit in this series. I don't want to say in history, but certainly in this series. Uh, so they have a man at second now with one out. And Chili Davis up. He gets a 3-10. That's a ground ball third base B. Two out. And Rob Thompson comes up and he gets a 4-8. And that is a walk. So there's two on. Two down. Bob Brenly up. And look at that. He's struck out. Leaving two men stranded. But of course they have an eight, not, er, an eight run lead. I don't think they're concerned about it. Atley Hammaker is still out there. Eric Davis is up. He gets a 5-2. That's a ground ball to first base. One away. 
Glenn Braggs gets a one four. That is a ground ball shortstop. And Billy Hatcher comes up, hit 276. They're going to let him hit. And he gets a 2 6, which is a pop out to short. And that does it. We have a ball game. And the Reds get nothing in the ninth and lose 10 to 2. The 1987 Giants will go on to play the 1986 Mets. We're going to have to figure out the. Um, the Kevin Mitchell situation, but it, this was really a crazy game, uncharacteristic, something we haven't seen before, and now we've seen it. The Giants winning the series. I hope you enjoyed it, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.